Hello everybody, I'm Chris. You're watching Pearl's Park Pass, and today is day number eight of staying at all the Disney World resorts in a row. Day number eight, and I am at the Disney's Port Orleans French Quarter. This resort is the smallest Disney World resort there is, but even though it's small, it packs a punch full of flavor because there's a treat here that people come around for miles and miles just to get this treat. It's only offered here at the French Quarter Resort. Let's go check it out. Here's the exterior. We're about to go into the lobby. See, this is beautiful little architecture. And we go right that way. It's gonna take us right in the lobby. Let's do it. Every inch of this place is just covered in jazz music. Wherever you go, you seem to hear jazz. It's fun, it's great, it's lively. And this is the main lobby area. You walk in, look at the brickwork down the ground. They have a little statue right here, a little fountain. All these different remnants here of Mardi Gras. This is heavily Mardi Gras themed. Over there, we'll get into all this float works and all that, what's over there. But first we need to go into registration and find our room. Oh, look at that little awning. Here's registration. We're gonna walk right in. And first I want you to look at the floor. Look at this, look at this flooring. And then right over there you have the, look at the wall. It's all done here to be themed after Mardi Gras. Look at the ceiling, the chandeliers. Yeah, this is nice. It is a little bit smaller of a lobby because it is a smaller resort. And like down here, they have this nice little couch you can sit at and relax. And against the walls there, we check in, they've got some great paintings there, bright colored paintings from Mardi Gras. They also have a nice little carpeted area, purple, color of Mardi Gras, and kids can sit right there while you check in. Right off of the registration right behind me is Jackson Square. That is their like market. Let's go check it. We've got to look at the merchandise that they have just specifically for the French Quarter. Let's go check it out. Okay, we're going in. You can see lots of greens, purples here because it's all Mardi Gras. Look across the top. You can see it's a Mardi Gras influence. Look at the carpet. This is great. All right, now we are coming into, this is the Mardi Gras Port Orleans, uh, right here, French Quarter. Here we go, the Port Orleans French Quarter. They got a little shaker here. And then they have a jazz club. We'll go to it later on tonight. It's called Scat Cats Live Jazz. They have a jazz club. club. They also have this, look right here, Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter. And then you have to look at the back. Scat Cats, Live Jazz, Beignets. Then right over here, and then look at this, little baby blue. Disney's Port Orleans Resort, French Quarter. I think it's called the Fleur de Lis right there in the center. It's very French. And then you can walk right over here and you can see it says Beignet all day. Beignets is what they have, they have a beignet bar here and everybody comes here for the beignets. That's the, that's, miles around for that beignet all day they have these beignet ears <laughs> and they're like they smell and like you can like they literally oh, they smell good i can smell them from here i'm gonna turn it around so you can see the front of it and you see it says beignet all day and of course you got the green frog not kermit it's prince naveen is what's hopping and then look here it's kind of in green Port Orleans French Quarter. And they also have these little dresses for little ones. Port Orleans French Quarter. And Tiana's here with her cookbooks. This is awesome. And here are their pins. Port Orleans, the French Quarter. They also have this shaker here. I kinda like this one. This has got a little blue. The last I showed it was just all white writing. But here's blue with Port Orleans and French Quarter. They also have cold beverages and little grab and go items in there. Got some uh, adult beverages and then just some water and Gatorades. Chips and salsa, that's, that's at all the resorts. They even have milk there, like a little bit of bottles of milk. Got some wine right over there. I got peanut butter and jam and everything you need. Bread and little boxes of cereal. Of course, beignet mix. And down here, it's coffee and chicory. And then behind the counter, of course, they have the uh, little bit harder alcohol. All right, we're back here into registration. I'm gonna turn right here. 
I see it says restrooms and arcade. There's arcade. South Quarter Games. You can see it's a little bit smaller. It's a smaller resort. It's a way smaller arcade. Well, they do have pinball machines. And when they, oh, it's the first pinball machine. I mean, it's the first arcade they don't have Tron. I mean, uh, Star Wars. They got Tron. Thank goodness. Tron! But this one right here is Guardians of the Galaxy. No Star Wars. Actually, looks like this one's got some credits. Nobody's playing it. I might as well give it a try. Uh, something's wrong with Tron. Darn it. Oh, I didn't realize it actually extends back. I didn't know that. There are more things to do. I thought that was just a little teeny tiny arcade, but there is more. Yeah, it's just some ski ball. What do we got? A little basket shoot. And a bunch of racing games. Lots of racing games here. All right, all right, all right. I'm okay with this. I thought it was a teeny tiny one, but it's still pretty small compared to the rest of them. But this is. There you go. And it looks like they have two chairs there for adults, those massage chairs. Let's exit out of the arcade here. Oh, it's a pull, not a push. Let's exit out of the arcade, and let me go show you the um, where you get your food. There's no like restaurant, like the boat's right, or like a, that requires reservations here. It's a small resort. They, resort. they do have, of course, um, the Spinier place, which I'm gonna show you in just a moment. But I also wanna show you this, it's called the Float Works. It's just like a food court. Here we are at the float works. Let's just go right on in there. And you kind of see the, the food court. It's off to the right, right here. Look at the theming right there. You can see the, looks like Mardi Gras beads from the ceiling. And then right there is your food court. And I noticed this when I walked through earlier. They got a king and queen up there of cards. You got Prince Naveen and Tiana. For food, they've got the beef and fried shrimp burger, of course. Everything else we pretty much have seen at the other resorts. Same here, these ones here we've seen all the other resorts as well. And then we've got pizzas here as well. And they have some sandwiches. They have a Mary Jane curry chickpea salad, an Italian sandwich, a turkey, pimento wrap. Beautiful bottles there. All right, so now I'm gonna exit out and we're gonna go right here to the, this is the most important part here. Right here. This is called Scat's Cats Club and Cafe. This is where you come to get your like cappuccinos and lattes or whatever, but this is where they have the specialty beignets. This is it, this is what everybody wants to. They have different types of dipping sauces. You get salted caramel, strawberry, or chicory chocolate, ganache, and you can add them. So you get a Mickey shaped beignet sundae. Oh my gosh. If you wanted to go crazy, you get that baton, rose, was that in a beignets? Two beignets jazzed up with your choice of Bailey's ice cream liquor or Kula liquor or rum chata liquor. Oh my gosh. This is it, let's do it. Oh my gosh, I ordered it. It comes, you get an order of three or six, so I did the three. And when you order it, it comes with, you get your choice of one. You get either the strawberry, salted caramel, which they recommend, is the, that's the best one. Or this is kind of like a dark chocolate, like a chocolate chicory, they said, um, like a ganache. But I'm gonna try all three of them. But you, you get one complimentary. If you want to buy more, it costs uh, 99 cents to get another one. Here we go. To be honest, I don't even know how to eat them. I got a knife and fork over here, but I think you just have to pick them up. But man, I know this is gonna get everywhere. We have dust going everywhere. Let's just first try it without any sipping sauces. Mm. They're hot. Really hot. Amazing. Okay, you, have you ever had the beignets at Disneyland? The ones at Disneyland are a little bit softer. These ones just have a little bit of a crust around the outside of it. It's, it's really good, just they're not quite as soft as the ones at Disneyland. It doesn't affect the flavor at all though. Let's try the first sauce. It's gonna be a strawberry, strawberry sauce. Good. It's like a street sweet strawberry jam. Now let's try this salted caramel. This is the one that was recommended to me. They said this is the best one. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. If I had just to choose between that and strawberry salt caramel, that is so good. <laughs> Next is the chocolate. It's a dark chocolate. It's not sweet. It's a um, uh, you know dark chocolate it's kind of with a sour bitter taste. That's what this one has like a sour bittery taste. I ate them all. All three. Gone. Gone. If you watched yesterday's video, you know I didn't eat breakfast so that I could come here to eat specifically these beignets. And I ate them all. Yep. Destroyed it. Ooh, that was so good. Um, I'm gonna say this. The salted caramel sauce was number one, then strawberry, and then the dark chocolate, which is interesting, because dark chocolate, I normally love it, but it wasn't as good as the other ones. I don't know why. But I wanna show you something I just found right here. I love it, look, they have a little, they have a set of checkers, and somebody's made a little hidden Mickey of the checkers. Also, something really interesting there. They don't have iced coffee, so, um, that guy was like, make sure you tell people they don't. He's like, we're one of the few resorts that don't. You go in there, you can order a latte, but there's no iced coffee. They don't have it. And I'm like, can't you just put ices, ice cubes in it like that? And he's like, no. He's like, this is one of the few resorts where you just don't do iced coffee. Strange as that may be, just so you know. All right, now let's go check out this resort because it is really, really fun to look at. Here we are, Just we just left the lobby and you see it go right outside. You got the benches, I mean, the little tables there. You got the... The little railings up there. This is it's a really fun area to look at. You got, the, look at these trees. Oh, okay. Now I'm going to turn to the right and we're gonna kind of come around. We'll end up at the pool later on. This resort only has the one swing pool. Like the other resorts, every other resort we've had has had multiple swing pools. This doesn't, this only has the one swimming pool. Has one little playground. I'll show you a map so you got kind of get an idea. This is right where we just walked through, right there the palm trees and there's the pool right up there I'm gonna kind of walk down these little areas here and I'll walk back and go through these little areas right there just so you guys can see this really cool architecture I love it they are three-story buildings they are three-story buildings it's kind of like you know the all-star resorts they're all three stories um, they all have elevators everyone has elevators there's the arcade the outdoor entrance to the arcade that I thought was a little tiny they all have elevators, so you don't need to worry about that. And they have these mock streets. As you walk through these buildings, it, they make it look like you're walking at, in downtown New Orleans, in the French Quarter, because they have these little streets here. Let me show you. So you turn right here, and you look, and there's a little street. Now, they do have like the little golf carts and things like that that go on it, little service vehicles, but not, they don't have like, um, there's nothing like real cars going down these streets. So you can walk down these streets and feel perfectly safe. Yeah, and you can see the bright colors on the doors right there. We're walking along here. I also think this is another cool little fun detail, right? They've named the streets, they're street names. And so when you look at the street names, they're on the signs, like this is called Jazz Alley. And then if you look on the sidewalk, it's gonna be on the sidewalks. So I'll show you that. So we're gonna turn right here. There's a little park, we'll go there in a second. Look how beautiful this is. This street is named Jazz Alley, and you look down here on the sidewalk, and what do you see? Jazz Alley. I'm gonna go right, right down here. I'm gonna turn into this park, so you can see this little park right here in the buildings. You can walk from one end of this resort to the other end of the resort in probably about five minutes. Very, very, it's, it's not very big at all. Look at that fountain. So there are two areas to this resort. They have what's called North Quarter and South Quarter. And the buildings are, they have numbers on them. So you see like this is building number two. I'm actually staying in building number one. So you have like the number one right over there. The North Quarter and the South Quarter, I've, I've already walked it. I don't really see much of a difference as far as theming. It's just how they kind of let you know, it's your North Quarter and your South Quarter. But look at it, it's fun. Like the building, it looks like it changes. It's like, dude, all this pink and it's blue. A little brown. I mean, fun theming. 
Okay, that was literally the south quarter, and now we're gonna walk and turn to go back to the north quarter. And this resort is just very quaint. Oh, I love that, the light blue railings there. I love that, I love it, I love it. Now I'm gonna walk into the north quarter. Here we are guys, this is kind of back at the entrance to the lobby, and then we're gonna go down here. There are seven buildings that they have here for rooms. A little checkerboard over there, and a little chessboard right over here. Okay, we're gonna continue on down this way. This is kind of goes down by the pool area. We'll go there in a moment. <clears throat> and it's gonna kind of keep going looking this way. Yep, there are seven buildings. So, for the rooms to be, for you to stay in different rooms. They do have staircases that you can walk on the outside or take elevators. So either one's fine. And right here, we see this is called Cakewalk. It's another little street, just kind of goes around these little buildings. But in the center, they have like a little park and a little fountain. fountain right there all right we're gonna continue on this road here called is that Rue de Bega, I guess Rue de Bega. and we're gonna walk down here to the and if you look closely you can see and this I love that they have those lots of trees lots of trees it is very quaint when I checked in, the lady was so nice. And she's like, she goes, she goes welcome to the French Quarter. She's like, it's just like being Mardi Gras, except it's quiet. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. And again, they have these, this little kind of gardens tucked in between the buildings. Let's, let's turn right here so you can see this. Just a little garden. Very cute. Now we'll just turn right here. There we go. And this is building number seven right over here. That's the farthest building away. And that's the whole resort. I can't tell you that this didn't come at a better time for me. Um, <clears throat> those last several resorts, like the Caribbean Beach, the um, uh, Port Orleans, the Riverside. I was walking around because I'm trying to show you everything top to bottom, like almost all those resorts. I mean, everything I've stayed at, they've been pretty spread out and I'm walking all over. So this is nice. I needed a little bit of a break. So it's nice that this resort is a little bit smaller. So when I'm walking through here, it's not taking, it doesn't take several hours. It just takes five minutes. I love the railings there, the blue, the deep blue. That's building number six. Again, that was building number seven right over there. And now we are headed back. Let's go back to the room. I'll show you the room so you guys can see what the rooms are like here. And before we do that, I just wanna give a huge thank you to our Patreons. Uh, you guys, I hope you guys hear loud and clear. I'm so thankful for you guys because without you guys, we wouldn't have been able to do this amazing journey. And if you wanna become a Patreon, there's a link down below. You can click that link down below and you'll get your name on the end card and be part of our Patreon community, which I would absolutely love. So I just want to say thank you to our patrons. Now, let's go check on our room. This is the door to my room. Let's open it up and check it out. Okay. Ah! Let's check out our room. Um, you kind of see it's the same thing. This is a two queen bedroom. Somebody asked me, they, they, they asked me like, are those queens? Are they doubles? Those are queen size beds. So you see queen size beds. Look back, I love that, the headboard. There's no picture like they do at uh, Riverside, but they have this nice lamps above. And then looking over here, I actually am on the ground floor and I have, I love this when they, I love that they have these little tables. That makes it so nice like to, to have like a little food or relax there. And then I was calling this a credenza. So I was like, I don't think it's a credenza. I think it's a chest of drawers. And so this is probably just a chest of drawers, I guess. Um, let's take a look at this here. This here is, your oh that's a full fridge good fridge good 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 there's a little thing here on the wall it's like, it says invitation to the pork ball 1887 music and drama wow and then over here they got a giant this is very pretty there it goes there's 
French Quarter. Over here, you can see, look at this. Not, I, didn't, I never noticed before, nicer hooks, guys. We're getting way nicer hooks now. Uh, bigger shelf to put things on. There's a hidden Mickey right there. I love it. And there's a nice little bench there to sit on, which is great. Now let's take a look at the bathroom. You're gonna notice since we're at a moderate, what do you see? Two sinks, two sinks. Look at this, nice. I like those little handles. The, uh, what was it, the Riverside had kind of like the pearl. This is just the stainless steel, I guess. Or is that chrome? I'm not exactly sure. Over here in the back, this is the, there's your safe and your ironing board, whatnot. And then we'll turn it this way. You'll notice the mirror is very well lit uh, in front and behind. So that's great. And then right over here is the bathroom. You got a bended bar. I love it when they're bended bar. Look at that shower head, it's a good shower head. Okay, turn it on. It is a bathtub, you have to step into it. There's also a little step right there, which is nice. And then there's that if you ever use that. I think this is very interesting. Woo! Now you, you don't know I'm here. You don't know, you don't know, you don't know if I'm back here or not. You don't you don't know. But I am. I'm outside guys. So it's, it's getting closer to the evening. The light rain is kinda of coming down. So I thought, you know what? If the light rain's going and nobody's in a swimming pool, I can show you the swimming pool right now. Let's check it out. So I want to show you they also have this nice little playground area right here. This playground area is open for ages 5 to 12. It is Mardi Gras themed. Uh -huh. It's got some slides. It's very open. Like, see, it's just, it's just open. Nice little benches for parents to sit on. It's got a little soft little play. And there's a little play area for kids to play. All right, guys, we're going to open up. I don't see a lot of people here at the pool, so let's take a look here. Oh, I got to come around. Wrong door. They have a little Mardi Gras themed play area. That fills up with water and tips out over everything. You can see it's got some little slides here. This is perfect for little kids to play. I think they play in this area, you're 48 inches or smaller. Uh, so it's for little ones, but it's, it's a good little area. And earlier today when I was here, it was jam packed, but now because it's raining, you know, nobody's out here, but this is fine. Okay, see, a nice little water slide for kids. It's a very good introductory water slide for children. Water is like spraying down. Yeah, this is a really good little play area for kids. Yeah. You can't complain. It's perfect little, and there's water down there, so they can splash. They have plenty of seats. You notice that these seats here, they're a little thicker. So that for padding, so you sit down, they're, they're nice to sit down. I love that. Let's wait for this to splash. Oh, there it goes. Whoa, right in the line of fire. There's a few people in the pool, but not a lot. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna film around them. So if it's a little, if it's a little weird editing, now you know why. Oh, this pool is cool. You got a, a nice little arch that lets you walk up and over. I'll walk over that arch. This is the little three foot area. You got stairs that go down here and the pool kind of wraps around. And so let's go up here and take a look. So you got some stairs here. This allows you to walk over to the other side of that pool. So let's walk up the stairs to go to the other side of the pool. The pool wraps around, it comes down here. See, I love it, they have this little clam and our oyster shell, and it's like shooting water over. You got the band playing down there, and then the pool continues on that way. There's also a little water slide here. You walk up these stairs, it comes here, is like a little dragon, or a Zeus, not Zeus, is that Triton? He's riding like a sea serpent, and the tongue comes down, and it's a little water slide. You follow this around. Again, I love these little chairs. They are a little thicker padded, which is nice. You see the little the tongue coming down where people get out. And then of course, they also have towels and towel return. Plenty of seating and for shade. Because it's raining, nobody's here right now, but plenty of seating and they got those nice little umbrellas right there. And here, you can actually walk out of here where the lifeguard is. You can see these little animals. That's pretty sweet. Complimentary life vests. And there, that's the pool, guys. The theming is that sea serpent that Triton, King Triton's on. 
goes like this, it goes down, it comes back over, and then you see it goes up over there. It's a great pool. They have a little chair there if you need assistance getting in and out of the pool, it's not a problem. And then right down here, you notice the entrance there, the curves, that's where you have the stairs to get in. And then you will notice the entrance to the pool, that is the tail of the sea serpent. Let's see the pool rating. I'm gonna give this pool three pools out of five, three out of five. It's a great pool. There is a little water slide. It's not a big thrilling water slide. It's kind of like almost like a little beginner water slide for children. There's only the one pool here at the French Quarter, but you can use the pools at the Riverside if you want to walk over Riverside. They do allow you to walk over and use the Riverside pools if you want to. But this pool here, I'm gonna give three pools out of five. The rain is really starting to come down, like really, really, really starting to come down. So I'm gonna head back to my room just for a second. Um, but the thing I've been told about Florida rain is it doesn't last long. It might be fierce, it might be powerful, but it doesn't last long. But this is starting to rain pretty hard. It's raining, so I'm just back in my room. I'm gonna wait a few moments, hopefully the rain subsides a little bit. And then we gotta go get some dinner, guys. Let's go get some dinner. It stopped raining, it's safe to go outside. <laughs> I literally just came outside and look, my glasses fogged up. So I'm gonna walk down and get some dinner. Let's tell you a little bit about this amazing resort. It was built in 1991. Like I said, it is one of the smallest resorts. It is the smallest resort here at the Walt Disney World. They went through a huge refurbishment in 2018, but starting in May, 2024, this month right now, May to 2024 to November, 2024, they're gonna be updating a bunch of different rooms and I think what they're gonna be doing is making those little five person sleepers for like little kids. Uh, they haven't really said what they're gonna be doing, but some of these rooms are going to be updated uh, starting this month until the end of November, 2024. Pretty cool. It's almost surreal. It doesn't even look like this could be real. It's be perfect to come relax at the end of a long day. It's wonderful. Let's go get some food. Let's do it. I like how right in the center, they have like this little cooler for cold drinks. As you're trying to decide what you want to order. I gotta talk about this because a lot of people are telling me about this. This is a mug you can buy at almost any of the resorts. It's refillable. It's 23.42, that includes your tax. And what you do is it allows you to refill all the soda pop that you want while you're on your vacation uh, at the resort. And if you happen to go to different resorts, like resort to resort resort, they, this matter, they let you take this with you. You can fill up soda pop or coffee and tea. Soda is 24 hours a day. The coffee and tea turns off at 11 o'clock. Hot be beverages turns off at 11 o'clock at night. But that way, if you're gonna be here for a long time, you can get this and you can fill it up. You can only refill them at the resort, so you can't take them to the park and refill them. Oh, please call. All right, I got the uh, bacon cheeseburger. And I also did get this. Um, we'll talk about this in just a moment. It was a good hamburger. Now let me go show you what you can do with this cup. With this mug, you have the freestyle Coke machine, so you can refill there. They got some like vitamin water there, which is really important. They also have like sweet tea and uh, normal tea, and then hot cocoa and coffee. All right, it is still raining pretty hard. Now these things about this is I'm gonna be honest with you. They don't. They look much bigger than they are. I'm thinking maybe eight ounces. All right, so I came back to the room. The reason I came back to the room is I wanted to go to the jazz club, but you can't take outside beverages in, so you can't take this little mug in, so I brought this back. But I want to show you, it's not that, it looks bigger than it is. I think it might hold 12 ounces, um, but we got to dissolve this, so let's figure this out. There's our t nightly water bottle, and it's that holds 20 ounces. And keep in mind that normally you put a bunch of ice in there, so yeah, you see... There's still quite a bit. That's that's more than four ounces. Yeah, that's maybe eight ounces. So maybe it holds twelve ounces. But then when you put ice in it, it you you you're really you're not getting a lot. So just be aware you're refilling it a lot. But that's not a bad deal if you're going to be here doing it a lot. Then not too bad. Since the first video, people were like, "Oh, you've got to get that. You got to get that thing and refill it." It's so smart because you're going to be there so long. And I was like, "Oh, I'm not going to do it because I didn't realize. I thought it was just soda pop." And I was like, I don't really drink a lot of soda. Every once in a while, maybe if I have a bad headache, I'll drink a Coke, but not really often. But then I went to show you guys this thing and I looked and they have vitamin water. I'm like, oh, 
Yes. And so now I'll be filling it up using it here the rest of this whole little massive undertaking of going to all the hotels. And you can't take it from hotel to hotel, resort to resort, not a problem. Let's go to the jazz club. I'm here in the um, like the little rotunda area, and that's with the registration right there behind me. But I want to go look at this jazz club. Let's go check it out. Now you can't bring any outside drinks here, but I just wanted to show what we can. All right, here I am at Scat Cats Club. It's a beautiful lounge. They don't happen to have any live music tonight, but it's, I think it's uh, Friday through, I'm not exactly sure, I'll have to look at the dates. They do have live music, but they have over here, and they have what looks like a little bit of dancing area. And this is the Scat Cats Club. You also have a little piano play over here. A nice little area to sit down and get some drinks. And they also have this, so there's a stage right there. They have it so they can open these doors and the music can come outside. And they have a little outside patio with some chairs and tables, but since it's raining, the doors are all closed. That's really cool though. Nice little lounge. This is the bar area, and if you look right down here, this is like a little appetizer menu. They've got like some like little nachos, some pimento cheese fritters, and some gumbo poutine. That sounds really good. These aren't like large things. It's just kind of little snackables that you sit down here and at these tables and enjoy some live music, and then they'll make you a drink. Friday, Saturday, Sunday is when the live music's here. And they said that it's a little bit different vibe. Like Yeehaw Bob over at the Riverside, that's like it's a crowd up and dancing, whatever. This is like that, just that pure music. People are enjoying it. You got a nice little cocktail maybe and a nice little, uh, some food there and just enjoying that vibe. Look at this, it's so cool, I love it. I just wanted to show the lobby again, this little area for kids. It's so pretty, you can look up here, it's gorgeous. Got the, look at the floor. <laughs> and you can just check in. It's. This is like a fan favorite resort. When I say this is a fan favorite resort, I mean that it really is. A lot of people are very devout. They love this resort. Can't think of it. It's a little more low key, a little slower. Um, it's not like just. It's not like this isn't where you're gonna be going for like the crazy like ah. This is where you come to have a good time to relax, and a lot of people love this resort. And I I I can see why. It's amazing. It stopped raining. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna take you down here and show you the main entrance into the pool, because I kind of uh, went around that because when it was raining, I was going fast. But this is the main entrance into the pool. And the first thing you notice, you're gonna notice these alligators, these musician alligators out here playing, having a good time, they're enjoying it, throwing a little Mardi Gras parade. You got a little drum, a little banjo action. Well, I love this. Oh, I need to show you this also. This right over here. We did not look at this. This here is also a little hot tub. You come right in here to the hot tub? So I noticed there's some people in the hot tub. I almost barged in on a little romantic evening, so I don't want to do that. But it's a nice little round hot tub. It's perfect. It is separate from the pool. You see that there's like this fence right here around it. So you go in there, nice little round hot tub to go in there and just kind of relax. It is separate. It's not in the pool area. So that way it's a little more quiet. You don't have, we have the kids in there playing the pool. This here is a little more quiet. Continue on down here to the pool. You'll notice you got this alligator playing cymbals down here. And then you got, of course, this one, a little saxophone action. That is sweet. Then come over here. That is your main entrance into the um, pool. Starting right there. I think that's actually King Neptune. I, I kept said Trident, but I think that's actually King Neptune. If you turn to the left, you can see right here, it's Marty Grogs. Marty Grogs, it's a little tiny bar here, poolside bar, let me show you. Perfect little area, you have some seats out here, you can order some drinks, get some drinks, and then you have a little, uh, your little bar out here. They do have some little pool bar bites, just like a little, you can grab a little pimento cheese wrap, a Cajun salad, and, and you can actually take it out to the pool, but you have to be six feet away from the water. And if, they, if you get too close, they will, blow their whistle at you. And they got these little drinks over here. They have non-alcoholic and uh, alcoholic drinks, both. <laughs> of course they would, it's a bar. Okay, let's go get ready for bed. We gotta do all the, get the bottle bottle ready and let's get ready for bed. And then I'll do all the readings of the room in the morning. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. I love this place. It's quieter. It's quieter than the, uh, than the riverside that I was just at. It's very, it's, it's elegant. Just look at that. Let's fill up the water bottle. 
the lid has got to go on tight. I worry that the lid always come off and spill in the fridge. Tight, 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 tight. Come on, get on there. Attaboy. Oh, there it is. Good. Good night, water bottle. See you in the morning. All right, let's do a review of the bed. I'm starting to think that maybe almost all the beds here are pretty much the same. We're gonna see when we get to the deluxe resorts, which we'll be doing here shortly soon. But I'm gonna give this, this is gonna get a review of three and a half beds, three and a half Zs. Uh, I slept great. Uh, I woke up and didn't feel too, I didn't have any bad experiences. I didn't wake up sore or achy and I felt refreshed. And I also have some really good news, guys. Look what I found this morning. It was tucked in my shirt. Yeah, I found my sock. So, all right, let's go check out breakfast. You guys are getting ready to go in. I can see there's Pluto and Goofy are inside here. It's the lobby. Goofy, Pluto, and Donald, they're all right over there. They have little character meet and greets. It's fantastic. Let's go look at breakfast. Now again, this one's a little bit different. If you want to go get coffee in the morning, you can go to Scat's Cats Club Cafe right there. And then over here is just your breakfast offering, right over here. This is where you come in and get to get breakfast. It's pretty much the same of everything we've seen, guys. Of course, they've got pastries, which call to me every morning because they look so good. And cereal. We do have a ham and cheese and vegetable breakfast quesadilla and Western omelet. I'm gonna skip breakfast this morning. Last night, I showed the hot tub, but I think there's nobody in it right now. I think if I can, I'll get a better view of the hot tub, so I'll show you a better view of that hot tub. Pool, it's open from 10 until, see there's a nice little hot tub right there. Got a nice, they call it the spa. Nice little spa, a little hot tub right there. Awesome. Let's talk transportation to get to the parks. There are two different ways, modes of transportation they have at this resort. They have the boat, but the boat only takes you down to Disney Springs, or they also have buses, which will take you to theme parks. There's only one bus stop here. Let me show you how easy it is. There's Pluto. It's just, and it's nice because there's not a lot of lines there. There's you got, Donald Duck, they have Pluto and Goofy, and you just go in there and just interact with them. Really nice. Now, let me go show you the bus stop that you need to see here. Bus stop. Just, you can barely see him right there. That's a cast member just talking to him. He's like, I'm so glad to see you out here on this side of the coast. He's like, we were planning a trip to go into Disneyland, and he's like, we went out to Disneyland to watch our videos, and I was like, oh, that's awesome. I said, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I said, there's a lot of people in, in the West Coast who want to come out here, but they're nervous. We don't know because there's all this transportation. I mean, like all these buses, you don't understand how to do it. Because at Disneyland, you just go to your hotel and walk. But that cast member did say this. He's like, man, he's like Cars Land. I'm like, yeah, Cars Land's something special. They have two little bus stops here. They have bus station A and bus station B. Bus station A is they take you to Animal Kingdom, Epcot, Blizzard Beach, Disney Springs. When you hear Disney Springs, that's downtown Disney for, for the West Coasters. And then bus station B, that's gonna take you to Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios. And right here we have bus station A. You can see on this bus here, it says Epcot. The buses will always be telling you where to go. That one says, you can see it's kind of hard to see with this, but it says Epcot right there. So it's always easy to tell. And then if you always look at the front and the bus drivers are super friendly, they will help you. If you ever have a question, just ask them. And they'll tell you, oh, we're going That's to here. Oh, right. is that, is that right? Kip, right. Yes, we're right. You guys are the best. Thank you so much. My yeah, they're so friendly. And this is bus station B. So we get on for uh, Hollywood Studios and for Magic Kingdom. As you can see, this bus here is going to Hollywood Studios. I had a lot of comments of people asking, well, what if I'm in a mobility scooter? How do the mo mo mobility scooters work? Mobility scooters are super easy. They'll open the door, it's a kneeling bus, there's a ramp, the ramp will come down and you'll have plenty of room to put your mobility scooter. The driver will assist you with that. Here's the bus pulling right here for Animal Kingdom. They come by about every 15 minutes. 
I've shown this in all previous videos, but you can go look at those monitors. That's the most accurate time you see those monitors. You can also go on your Disney app. You go on your Disney app, we go on your hotel reservation, you click on hotel reservation, you scroll down, it says bus schedule, click on bus schedule, and then I'll show you up to date when the buses are coming to your particular hotel, which whatever one that you're staying at. Oh my gosh, there goes Pluto, just bounding out. Goodbye, Pluto. Can't even handle it. Oh, and there's, there's, there's Donald. Oh, there he goes. That's okay, there goes Donald. Oh, there's Goofy, hi Goofy. <laughs> Now, I'm gonna show you where to go to catch the boat to go down to Disney Springs. Right now, the water is not quite high enough, so they're not running the boats. But I'll show you where it is, because when you come here, the water will probably be high enough. But before we do that, I need to do a couple of shout outs. So let's do some shout outs, then the boat. Then we'll go do the room. I, here's, the, here's the order shout outs, boat. I have to tell you a story that's kind of odd about this place. And then we're gonna go do a room test. First shout out is from Amy May. 2097 amy made 2097 amy says thank you so much for doing this and can you please tell me what's the best for getting around and quick breakfast choices well they're all pretty quick for getting around um i haven't done them all yet so we don't know all the options but right now the best breakfast options i, I think are probably pop century so far they had a lot prepared ready to go and also the disney Be caribbean beach they had that grab and go mart and they had a lot of hot stuff in there just grab it and go so those would be my recommendations Thank you so much, Amy May. Next shout out is for Axel Cole. Axel Cole, 1090. He said, I've watched your channel for a couple years now. Thanks for all the info. You keep me connected into Disney in between visits. Ah, Axel, you're so welcome. I'm glad you enjoy your channel. And uh, yeah, we're all here. We're just all big lovers of Disney. This next shout out is from Ready, Set, Go, Jella. Ready, Set, Go, Jella. Uh, maybe it's Ready, Set, Go, Jell, LA. I'm not exactly sure, but this is a message to Kylie. Kylie, mommy and daddy want you to know that you are smart, kind, sweet. You are, are, you are your mom and dad's sunshine, Kylie. Your mom and dad are very proud of you. They love you more than anything. Love mom and dad. There you go, Kylie. This last shout out is from Tink Disney. And all they said is, it's going to be crazy. Here's a little something to help out. Oh, thank you so much, Tink Disney. I appreciate it. If you want to do a shout out, you can easy, it's very easy to do. On the bottom of this video where it says comments, there's a thing that says thanks. You click on thanks, you can make a little donation. That donation, all of it goes to help cover the cost of this mammoth undertaking. And you put out your message. As long as your message is appropriate, I will read it on screen. All right, let me show you the, uh, the boat area where you catch boats to go down to Disney Spring. Right down here, you can catch these boats and they will take you to Disney Springs. Now right now, because there's not enough water, the boats aren't, the boats aren't currently running, but you guys can see, woo these are the boats. I have to tell a story, just kind of be patient with me. I have stayed here in the French Quarter one time before, but I almost have zero memories of it. Here's what happened, I'll give you a little backstory. In 2019, um, at the end of 2019, my wife, who's not yet generally a risk taker, she ended up coming up with this great idea. She goes, let's do a world tour of Disney. When it comes to our YouTube channel, she's the one that's like, got these great ideas. She's the one that came up with this idea of staying here at every hotel. She is, it's amazing and it's awesome. And she came up with this idea. She goes, let's go do this world tour and it'll be, it'll be amazing. So we started planning that at the end of 2019. We were leaving on January 25th of 2020. We all know what happened in 2020, right? Well, right before we left, a couple of weeks before we left, the very beginning of January, our son got super sick, really sick. So sick that he was hospitalized. He had a breathing, he had breathing difficulty, a major asthma attack, and he couldn't really breathe. And because of that, um, he was hospitalized. And we were getting ready to leave to go on this world tour in about two weeks. And so we were panicking. We're like, we can't, we can't do this. We're not gonna be able to go on this world tour. After, and we told our doctor what we were doing, and the doctor, we released miles, they ran some tests, and the doctor was like, nope. He's fine to go on the world tour. They gave us some medicine, these breather things for him. He's gonna be perfectly fine. We came down to Florida. We left on January 25th. The reason I remember that, because that was the day that Disneyland Hong Kong closed. They closed because of you know the, everything that's happening in the world. And uh, but I was like, oh, nothing's gonna happen. We flew down to Florida. We we're supposed to be down here to Florida for two weeks. The first five days, we're having a great time. And all of a sudden, I got sick. 
the sickest I've ever been in my life, hands down. And um, I was so paranoid that I was going to get miles sick that I was like, I can't do this. My friend Dave, thumbnail Dave, um, he was staying down here at the French Quarter and we were staying at the Contemporary Resort. I literally, I came to Dave and said, Dave, I'm worried about getting miles sick. He said, come to my room. So I came to Dave's room and I spent the night at here at French Quarter. I don't remember it at all. I was, I was the sickest I've ever been. I have zero memories of it. The next morning, Amanda and Miles came to visit me and I was so, I was so worried that I was gonna get Miles sick that I, I didn't even let them, I was like, don't come in the room, don't come in the room. So they opened up the door and Dave and Miles went and sat on this balcony out the side and, they were and I could hear them talking, the room, the door was open. I could hear them talking and they were talking about their favorite colors, they're talking about their favorite cereals. You know the conversation you have with a three-year-old at that time? Well, what happened was um, Amanda and uh, Miles, I said, go to the park, we're gonna go to the park. I ended up getting a massive fever. They put me, Dave helped me into a bathtub. I got in a bathtub, in a cold bathtub to try to break this fever. And it was, I was miserable. We get out of that fever, I get out of that fever, the bathtub, and I'm like, I have to go see a doctor. They take me, to, I go to the doctor, I get to a doctor. Once I get there, um, he tested me he's, and he told me, he's like, you don't have COVID, you don't have anything like that, but you have this massive illness. And I was so worried about getting anybody sick that I went and booked myself into this uh, kind of as a dumpy little hotel. And I stayed, a motel, like I don't, to be honest with you, I don't even remember where it was. And I stayed there for five days and just slept for five days. I'll link that video because it's kind of a funny video now to watch about it. But I have a really sweet memory of laying in bed here, listening to Dave and Miles talk about cereal and colors. And I'm gonna go find that room. And that's it. That's the room that I was laying in and the door was open when I heard them talking. And right here is where Amanda took a photo of Miles and Dave talking about cereal. It was right here. And this is it. It was actually from the door, just like that. This is where they were talking about cereal. So technically, I have stayed here, but I don't remember it. All right, let's go back to the, our room and do our room tests. If you're interested in staying here though, because this place is amazing. This is a fan favorite. People who stay here love it. They repeat, they come here a lot. This is the Port Orleans French Quarter. Let me give you a little bit of statistics on it. The room price for here, the room price is between $295 a night and $380. $295 and $380 a night. That's the average room. Those prices will fluctuate depending on the time of year though. So $295 to $380 a night. Though, if you book it through Getaway Today, you're gonna get the lowest price guarantee. So all you have to do is click the link down below and, and let them know, uh, click the link down below. That's gonna get you the Provost Park Pass uh, lowest price guarantee and they'll give you the concierge service for free. Or you can call them at 1-855-GETAWAY, 1-855-GETAWAY. And when they answer, be sure to tell them Provost Park Pass sent you and that way you'll get your, the free concierge service down here in Florida. And what is that? There's a whole bunch of these restaurants, I mean, uh, uh, hotel, uh, resorts that have really amazing restaurants that require reservations. There's also some uh, dining on the parks that require reservations. They will take care of your reservations for you for free. You don't have to, like, you, like making those phone calls and like, trying to get reservations like 60 days out. They'll do it for you, which is sweet. To save yourself some time. That is awesome. Just for that alone, it's amazing. So, okay, let's go check out our room. All right, let's pull out the water bottle here. There it is. Oh, yeah, cold, cold, cold. I can tell it's cold right at the bat. That is very, very cold. In fact, I'm going to drink it right now. It's a good shower. Uh, I think the Riverside had a little more pressure, so I'm gonna give this three drips out of five, three drips out of five. And if you notice, remember that picture of when I was like in the bathtub and I was like sick? Still have the same shower curtains. Flush test. Here we go. There's maybe a little more flush power here than at Riverside. I'm gonna give this three flushes out of five, three flushes out of five. I'm confident that Anything that was put in there would be flushed in one try. I got a pack and we're gonna head to Coronado Springs. That'll be the last moderate resort that we go to. And the price ranges on that one fluctuate greatly. 
Uh, I've never stayed there. I don't know very much about it, but doing research, I was like, holy cow, the price fluctuations here are just pretty high. So let's go to Coronado Springs. That'll be our next stop. I'll see you in tomorrow's video at Coronado Springs. I realized I hadn't done like a recap of my th feelings of French Quarter. We have to talk about this. This place is absolutely stunning. It is beautiful. It is gorgeous. It is a little bit quieter, so it's a little more quiet. Um, there are some young families here, but mostly it seems like you have a lot of, there's adults here. There's a lot of uh, maybe teenagers. It's not quite as like rambunctious as uh, other, like Pop Century, which is like, yeah, or art animation. This is a, feels a little bit slower paced. It's kind of relaxing and it's got a good vibe. I mean, it's got a really good vibe to it. I love it. And so I just be aware that this is a little bit quieter one. Um, so if that's what you're looking for, then this would probably be the top of your list. Can you guys just see how amazingly beautiful it is? All right, I'll see you tomorrow at the Coronado uh, Springs Resort. I've never been there. I know nothing about it. We'll discover it together. French Quarter was amazing and beautiful. Uh, 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 uh. I love that place. I really think it's awesome. I stayed there one time before, but I don't remember it because I had such a bad fever that I was kind of delirious and then Dave had to take care of me and then like say no. I don't remember anything about it except for Miles and Dave talking about cereal. But the place is a beautiful resort and I would definitely stay there. Thank you, Patreon.